In this video, we will learn about singleton service in ASP.NET Core Web API application. In our previous video, we have created product repository and we have used the repository in product controller using this new keyword. To work with dependency injection, first we have to create an interface for this product repository. So right click on product repository here, quick action and refactorings, then choose extract interface here. This is the name of the interface and make sure all these checkboxes enabled, then click OK button. You can see here we have iProduct repository interface. Inside this repository folder, we have new file name is iProduct repository. Let's open it. Um, see here this is an interface and it has two methods. Now go to product controller. Instead of this product repository, now we can use iProduct repository. Now we have to make dependency in between the controller and the repository. So we can create the dependency by using constructor method and property. So in this constructor, let's define new variable by using this interface product repository. Now we have to assign this product repository to this product repository. We are using interface only in this controller. So this controller don't know anything about implementation. Now go to startup class. Inside this um, configure services method, we have to register our new services. Remember in ASP.NET Core, we have built-in container that is I service collection. Here we have to define all the services with this I service collection container. Uh, let's see how we can do that. Your services dot add singleton. Inside this we have to pass interface and implementation. Now let's see the definition of this add singleton method. Choose go to definition. See here. Here we need to pass a service type and implementation of that service. Okay, go back to startup class. Here type is I product repository, comma, then implementation of this interface is product repository. Add the namespace here. That's it. This is how we can register singleton service in ASP.NET Core web application. Singleton service can be registered by using this add singleton method. There will be uh, only one instance of the singleton service through the application. For example, um, you are sending one request. After some time, again you are sending one more request. If you are registered your service by using singleton method, then new instance will not be created again. First instance that we have created for the first time that will be used for all the HTTP requests. So in this application, we have registered this repository using singleton method. Now save and run this application. Now go to Postman. Here uh, already we are in this um, exact URL. Now change the product name. Let's say pen. Then click the send button here. Here we got the output. Now change the product name. Here we got two data. Again change the data. See here we got three datas here. Now go to Visual Studio. In this product repository, let's put a breakpoint here. In a postman, change the product name. Let's say pencil. Then click the send button here. 
see here in this product object sorry in the products total we have three products press F10 your ID is 4 now see in the products here we have four uh, data press F10 by using this get all products method we are returning all the products um, in this ok method now stop the execution again run this application in the postman again click the send button here see here in the products count is zero that means uh, we don't have any records in this uh, products list we have started our application again so new instance will be created for every time we restart the application that's why your products is zero I hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching this video.